most of us agree that diet is a major player in our diabetes reversal journey. But the food that we eat is of no use if its nutrients do not reach its final destination and that is the cells of our body. So while we may feel that we are eating good, we actually could be undernourished at the cellular level. And therefore, to fix that, we need to take care of our second brain, which is our gut. Interestingly, different types of bacteria in our gut play different roles in sugar or glucose metabolism. For example, those who have high levels of good bacteria called coprococcus tend to have higher insulin sensitivity. And someone with high levels of bad bacteria like flavonifractor tend to have lower insulin sensitivity. And when we take diet that's rich in sugars, basically carbohydrates, it gives way to such like bad bacteria in our gut to multiply very fast, thereby throwing off the balance in the gut microbiome and contributing towards impaired glucose tolerance, high lipids and increased insulin resistance. So how do we fix this? Simple, by consuming a balanced mix of probiotics and prebiotics in our diet. And what are probiotics? They are foods that contain live, healthy, good bacteria like these. Yes, pickles too, but not the ones that are sugary and sweet. And now you also know the importance of fermented foods, right? Now with all these good bacteria entering your gut, you need something for them to live and multiply. And that something is called prebiotics. So all these non-digestible foods listed on the screen promote growth of good beneficial bacteria in our gut. And you will also find psyllium husk in the list. So when we talk of fiber, be it from the skin of veggies or nuts or a simple direct intake in form of zelium husk or isep gold, these fiber act as the perfect food for good bacteria in our intestines and their role goes beyond regulating glucose to improving our immunity, digestive health, PCOD and lowering lipids, especially triglycerides and LDL, what we know as the bad cholesterol. And finally, you can boost your efforts by taking a good supplement of pre and probiotics, especially so in case you are suffering from poor bowel. Remember, bowels are a natural indicator of your gut health, so do not take it lightly. These supplements have CFU written on them, which is basically colony forming units. And existing clinical trials suggest probiotics dosage of 10 to 20 billion CFU per day are sufficient. And for those who are keen, must watch this 2014 documentary, The Gut, Our Second Brain.